So you will finally want to get behind the wheel, huh? Yeah, I've been shooting for three years and I've never got to drive. Well, you're going to need some more gear than just your helmet. Why don't you go to shopakr.com? They got their inventory online and they'll ship it the same day if you order before 5.30 p.m. Eastern. They got shoes? Yep. Gloves? Yep. Rib protectors? Got those too. Can they make me go fast? No. Here at Acceleration Kart Racing, we've got everything you need to get on track. What happens next? Well, that's on you. Check us out online at shopakr.com. Are you ready to get behind the wheel? From Formula One to NASCAR and IndyCar, all the pros start here. For more information, check us out online at mccarting.com or call us and go racing today. Commercial break. Hey, so were you guys saying something?
Welcome back uh, to Whiteland Raceway Park as uh, we saw a little recap of what we saw earlier this morning uh, here in Indiana as uh, we get set for our second part of, uh, of racing action here today with our uh, Honda kit carts that are out there on the racetrack right now. Um, currently have uh, just under uh, three minutes to go left uh, in their session, but a great day so far uh, for racing. Uh, it's been, you know, good uh, to be out here uh, with the entire uh, Whiteland uh, Raceway Park crew and, and the entire production crew as well. Who's doing a great job with uh, with replays and, and giving us all of these uh, great camera angles um, uh, here uh, today. It's it's been a great time. Uh, obviously, our our uh, our AM got got I guess. Um, stopped a little bit early uh, due to some uh, some technical mishaps on the racetrack but got it all figured out uh, the uh, strong crew uh, around here uh, got it done and and, and we're able to get back uh, racing that four hour p.m. groups uh, of the day uh, here uh, uh, at uh, Whiteland Raceway Park so uh, we have a handful of other classes getting set to go green uh, your KA 100 juniors as well as your uh, KA Masters, uh, I, sorry, not KA Masters, because they went out with the seniors, um, but uh, you have your Mini and Micro Swifts, your 206 Heavy, your 206 Light, your KA Juniors, and your 206 SPR Masters uh, that are getting set to go green uh, for uh, or later today, but uh, here at the moment is your uh, Honda Kit Carts that are on the racetrack right now and uh, getting uh, set to uh, go green. So this is uh, a, a whole half hour or, or a little less than that de dedicated uh, to uh, these uh, Honda kit carts. So you have a, a practice of 10 minutes uh, that started uh, a little bit ago, uh, they, uh, hencing why they have uh, a minute left. And then uh, we have their, their heat race, which is gonna be six laps. Uh, as well, uh, getting that's uh, getting underway at 12:57 uh, Eastern time, and then uh, the main event for those uh, Honda Kit Carts is going to be at 1:50 p.m. Uh, so later on today, we're going to go green with those uh, young boys and girls who are uh, here racing this weekend. So pretty cool that uh, the Indy Carting Challenge does that, uh, you know, to uh, promote the uh, stars of tomorrow in the Honda Kit Cart class. Uh, so. 
Uh, yeah, thank you guys uh, for joining us. You've been uh, watching Car Chasers live coverage of um, the Indy Karting Challenge. Uh, for those of you guys who are joining us back here uh, for the free uh, section of our of our broadcast, don't forget for nine ninety nine a month you can become a KC Premium member and watch all the racing action live. You can watch uh, the rest of the uh, Indy Karting Challenge live here uh, on our platform, and then. Um, and uh, watch uh, all races across the, the U.S. where uh, you may even see some of your uh, hometown locals, uh, you know, go at it next week at the Stars Championship Series in Charlotte. So uh, for those of you guys who want to become a Casey Premium member for $9.99 a month, you can do so uh, by subscribing and uh, uh, paying that, uh, that monthly fee, which is uh, honestly, uh, it's, it's pretty worth it when it comes down to it because you can watch all the racing action. Uh, throughout the weekend and not have to wait uh, for the Wednesday after to uh, to watch, you know, either your, your son, your grandson, your your kid, or even yourself uh, go out there and race. So uh, definitely worth it if you guys are, are interested. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a pleasure uh, for myself, uh, Caleb Vieska, and Alexander Shore to be out here and uh, and bring you guys all the racing action live as uh, the Hanukkah carts get uh, wrapped up. Uh, for their uh, first warm-up session but again it's been a pleasure uh, being out here so far and uh, we look forward to uh, to great racing uh, as the day continues
Well, racing action is back underway here at Whiteland Raceway Park where our kit carts just worked their way uh, onto the racetrack and they got the green flag and uh, are currently on the racetrack now and racing here. Uh, so let's run you down your field here. It's uh, currently Kyler Hendrickson in uh, the lead, Diesel Maxwell second, uh, Tate Hall third, Grace East uh, currently sits fourth, uh, Cullen Quint. Lanzer in fifth, Parker Moore sixth, uh, James Fox in seventh, N Nema Simonelic, Simonelic, sorry, eighth, and Sophia Wolfong in tenth, uh, Stella Hendrickson in eleventh, Miles Hill in twelfth. So uh, these drivers continue to shuffle around, and it's currently Moore who leads us away here, out. Yeah, Moore leads over Flanzer, then it's Tate Hall. Simonelic now up into fourth. Uh, and then one of the drivers in fifth there had a bit of a uh, timing and scoring issue there with that with their transponder. But Diesel Maxwell sixth, James Fox, Stella Hendrickson, Grace Geis, Tyler Hendrickson, Miles Hale, Sophia Wilfong. Uh, and the drivers will continue to shuffle out for your lead there. Uh, Parker Moore, Parker Moore still holds on ahead of Tate Hall, who just got ahead of uh, Cohen Flanzer now. So Tate Hall, move him up into P2, and then Diesel Maxwell up into P4 as well. So a lot of shuffling for position here. Uh, still early doors in this one, four laps to go. Uh, Parker Moore still leads. Tate Hall doing a good job there in P2. Uh, just got around Cohen Flanzer. So, yeah, good good scrap here for uh, the youngest drivers uh, on, the, on the calendar. Yeah, so... Uh yeah, it's been a good race so far uh, in this one. Uh, but, you know, uh, these uh, kid carts, the youngest drivers that we'll see here uh, this weekend. And um, doing a great job of just keeping it on the racetrack as uh, three laps down and three more to go in this one. So, uh, been a good race so far uh, here for these Honda kid carts. Yeah, so uh, two and a half laps to go. Diesel Maxwell now, your leader, has a, about a two-second advantage over Tate Hall. Tate Hall went purple last time by. Killing Flanter remains in third. Parker Moore was first for a while in this one, now fourth. And then it's Bo Laser uh, in fifth, now sixth, because Kyler Hendrickson up into the top five. This uh, heat race is going to set the order for the final that we will see uh, at the end of all the qualifying uh, stages of the afternoon group. So, uh, again, this is all just to group everybody for their uh, final starting positions. One and a half laps to go here for Diesel Maxwell.
Well, drivers cross the line, and Diesel Maxwell is your winner here in Valendicke Park Class. Take Hall second, uh, Cohen uh, Flanzer in third, Parker Moore fourth, Kyle, uh, Kyler Hendrickson fifth, Grace Geese sixth, Bo Laser seventh, Naomi Samanelic eighth, Stella Hendrickson ninth, Sophia Wolfong tenth, James Fox eleventh, and Miles Hale rounding out your field here in twelfth. Yeah, so a good run there for all the drivers in uh, in the kit cart class. Uh, next up, in about 10 or so minutes time, the warm-up sessions will begin uh, for our next group of six classes for the afternoon slate here. But that was our heat race there for kit cart. The kit cart final. Uh, will be uh, at around 1.50 uh, in the afternoon. That'll be an eight lap final for all of our kit carts. So, Diesel Maxwell will be on pole position for that one. But nonetheless, warm ups set to begin in about 10 minutes time for the afternoon slate. Uh, don't go anywhere. Brandon, why are there all these charges for just over $200 from Acceleration Car Racing's website? That's because AKR gives you free shipping on orders of $200 or more within the continental US. Okay, but I thought you were just getting a pair of gloves. That's what, 70 bucks? But if I'm getting a new pair of gloves, I might as well get a new pair of shoes to match. And then on top of that, I'll get a neck brace because with the shipping, it's basically free. Yeah, I do not think the math checks out on that. Everything you need, all in one place and shipped to your door for free for orders of $200 or more. Exclusions apply. Spend responsibly. Shop AKR.com. Are you ready to get behind the wheel? From Formula One to NASCAR and IndyCar, all the pros start here. more information, check us out online at mccarting.com or call us and go racing today. Commercial break.
All right, welcome back to Whiteland Raceway Park, round three of the Indy Karting Challenge. It's a bit of a replay uh, package for you guys for anything that you may have missed from this morning's action. There's the 202, one of the sportsman drivers there in qualifying, losing their rear tire uh, on the final lap of qualifying. Here's some of the action that we saw in the KA Senior Class. There's AJ Lund. He was your pole sitter. Ultimately lost out to Jackson Dial there uh, with, with an early end to uh, the KA Senior race. Uh, here's some of our sportsman drivers. There's Danny O'Gara getting into it. One of, the, one of the lapped cars en route to a victory there. Uh, here's another view of it. Risky stuff from O'Gara. Ultimately uh, made it work but in about a 10 second victory for O'Gara. There's uh, Brett Hastings getting into it with uh, Reagan Hodges there. Hodges ultimately ended up with the victory over Chase Call there. Here's how close it was at the end. But here's Hodges losing her side pod en route to a victory there. Uh, unusual stuff there, especially without any contact. That might have been due to the contact from Brett Hastings, but we will uh, we'll never really know the, the, the reasoning behind that. Uh, ultimately, though, she ended up with the victory. Uh, here's your senior medium class here. Uh, great battles all the way through. We saw Jen Scheimer. We saw Eli Fox get into it. We saw the likes of uh, Howerton uh, eventually claim the victory. There's Fox with a move on the inside of Jen Scheimer. That was pretty much the battle all race long. There's Jen Scheimer and Howerton going side by side. Uh, this is about three laps ago uh, when this was taking place. Uh, and then later on in the race, we saw Howerton get sideways here. Misses breaking on the bumps into uh, the hairpin there. Fox got through, and that was the moment where I thought Fox was going to get the victory. But Howerton, doing one of his uh, sneaky moves, got back through up into the lead. Last lap, Jen Scheimer tried to do the move that Howerton made on Fox. Couldn't make it stick. Howerton claimed the victory just ahead of uh, Ryan Jen Scheimer. Uh, and then Fox was uh, the driver that rounded out your podium in the 206 senior medium class. And then... Obviously, uh, in the 206 Masters category, we saw a lot of carnage. Surprisingly, uh, we saw Matt Gase walk with the victory, but that wasn't without the likes of Galania, Deitz, and Tony uh, get into it there. And then we saw one of the drivers lose the right rear. So, yeah, I mean, usually our Masters guys are, uh, you know, fun to watch, but also they, they, they try to keep it tame out there, uh, you know, but nope, these guys put on one of the best shows of the day, so the Masters guys always love when the 206 Masters can uh, hit the racetrack and put on a show for us, but yeah, one of the drivers losing the right rear tire and getting into the wall, luckily the driver is okay, moved the, the wall on the bowl corner quite a bit there, a bit of an unusual incident uh, here at Whiteland Raceway Park, uh, but yeah. Uh, as you can see, the driver was eventually uh, okay, which is always good to see, but it brought out a red flag in our KA Senior Race, cut short uh, that feature race, and gave Jackson Dial the victory ahead of AJ Lund and Charlie Steins. But uh, the biggest story is that that driver that hit the outside wall in the bowl corner is okay there, Caleb. So, yeah, a lot of uh, great racing action this morning. Six more classes to go today, starting with their warm-ups. Uh, what do you think uh, we can expect here from the afternoon slate, Caleb? Yeah, I mean, we can expect great racing uh, like like we've seen uh, earlier today. I mean, we have uh, five classes plus our kit carts uh, getting set uh, for uh, more racing action uh, today. But, yeah, I mean, we, we can expect good racing, right? Uh, some uh, Maybe some familiar faces. Uh, I, I'm hearing some words of, of some mechanics as well that are uh, racing in the 206 classes, uh, heavy and light. So, I uh, hope to see those guys out there and uh, and racing, and uh, and having a good time. So uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we can expect good racing. Uh, I mean, hard racing, right? Uh, a lot of a lot of passing opportunities. Um, you know, uh, usually uh, in the uh, in the afternoon groups, everybody's already you know kind of awake, getting itching to go out there and 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 uh, and and, uh, and ready. You know, so. I uh, should expect some good racing here uh, coming up uh, for the Indy Karting Challenge. This is round number three of uh, of the Indy Karting Challenge uh, from Whiteland Raceway Park. It's been a, it's been a great day so far, and uh, we can expect some some good racing, some hard racing, and uh, a lot of passing. Uh, so this is uh, our third round here. Uh, round number four will uh, take place uh, on my birthday, actually, May 11th. Uh, so we'll be back. 
uh, for uh, the Indy Karting Challenge on May 11th, and then uh, round five uh, on June 8th, and uh, uh, some a couple of two-day rounds of round six and round nine uh, for uh, two-day uh, action, uh, two-day action-packed racing uh, for the Indy Karting Challenge. Uh, so there's a schedule that goes all the way to November of next year, right before uh, the snow hits Indiana, and then. Uh, everything in the Midwest gets uh, closed down for um, you know the seasonal snow. But uh, again, don't forget to follow uh, Whiteland Raceway Park on on Facebook. Give them a like, and then uh, Race WRP on Instagram and Whiteland uh, Raceway Park on on YouTube. And then uh, become uh, part of the uh, of the Discord channel uh, if um, you guys join it stay up to date with the, the Indy Karting Challenge and everything that, uh, that occurs uh, here at the series uh, where they post results and, and more and more uh, stuff uh, for, uh, for those of you uh, at home and then for those of you at the racetrack as well. So uh, scan that QR code, become part of the uh, Discord uh, server and uh, you guys can you know, stay up to date with anything that's going on in the series and, and all updates and, and all, that, all that fun stuff uh, here, Alex. Are, are you part of the Discord yet, Alex? Um, I should be, but if I'm not, I might scan that QR code right now, uh, and you guys should do the same thing back at home watching. So, uh, yeah, always good. It keeps you up to date. Get to know all the rules, all the updates on the schedule, anything that you would need to know. Also, racewrp.com. That gives you guys all the information. You can find live timing there. Uh, also, I Alpha Live will give you the same timing that you can find on the websites. But the schedule will be there, all the rules, registration, everything you need to at racewrp.com. Uh, Com. So, uh, nonetheless, here we're getting set for our first warm-up here of the afternoon slate, Caleb. Uh, this is, I believe, the Micro uh, Swift uh, classes, uh, if I am not mistaken. Maybe it's it says, live timing says Supermaster, but I don't think so. I think this is going to be our Micro Swift drivers here on the racetrack. Yeah, so uh, I think it looked like it was a Microsoft uh, class. And I tell you what, Alex, uh, you better have scanned that QR code because I just uh, scanned that QR code, and I'm up to date with everything that's going on. I have results here uh, on this Discord server. I have grid lineups. I have all that jazz here. Uh, I can even go to the help desk, ask Joe Janowski a couple questions. I know he's super busy down there on the grid. Uh, but I'll go in there and, and bug, it, bug him uh, <laughs> right now in the, in the, uh, in, uh, at the help desk area. Um, but yeah, you guys seriously uh, become a part of that Discord group. You get uh, everything. I mean, everything's digital nowadays, um, you know. And so, become part of that Discord group, and you get grids, everything, everything that that uh, that you may need, announcements, uh, and all that fun stuff. So uh, that that uh, QR code will be up later today as well. So make sure to become a um, to scan it and uh, become a part of that that group because I, I I just joined. I won't lie, and and now I'm. 20 times more informed than I was uh, an hour ago. Yeah, so uh, three minutes uh, left roughly in the Womp here. This is your Micro and Mini Swift combined for the Womp session. A uh, few drivers there with some transponder issues, so let's hope we can put some names to the transponder uh, at some point uh, today before qualifying, hopefully. But the first one we can read is Case and Hendrickson. Uh, he was also in the 206 Sportsman. He was actually the one that we saw spun around with the tire, so double duty for Kaysen. So uh, for a lot of drivers in the afternoon groups, you know, the luxury being the afternoon group is as P1 driver going straight off here. Uh, just unfortunately, no grip on the inside there. Major contact, uh, not what you want to see. Uh, just lack of grip, lack, maybe, you know, no brakes, no steering, something seems to have failed on that go-kart there to cause that impact. but. Uh, you know, I've always loved being the afternoon group because for me, I like to sleep. And if I was an afternoon group, you don't have to be here until you know 12 o'clock. I get to sleep in. So uh, for some of the drivers doing double duty, obviously you have to be here at about seven o'clock in the morning, and you don't leave here until about six. So uh, the double duty guys, uh, a much longer day, but a much more fun day. I'd say two is always better than one. So uh, why not run two classes? And for Kaysen's, uh sake, uh, he's doing double duty. So is Titus Roberts there. Uh, sitting there third, Austin Taylor, Double Duty as well, Dalton Sears, uh, Patrick McNeely, uh, a lot of drivers, Daniel Guerra, obviously Double Duty. So uh, I'd say about half the grid, maybe more than half the grid here, we saw in the sportsman class earlier this morning. So uh, not many drivers uh, new to uh, 
new to uh, today. But uh, for the drivers that are new to today, uh, welcome. And uh, let's have some fun here for our micro and mini source drivers. Two minutes to go in a warm up session. As it stands, Danny O'Gara, uh, you know, leave, uh, starting where he left off, I'd say, in his sportsman class, about a second clear of second place Titus Roberts there uh, on board his mini Swift go kart. So, absolutely flying uh, is Daniel Guerra as it stands. Just a warm cushion, obviously, so you don't know what other drivers are testing or, or, or anything like that. But if we can base it off of warm ups, then we know that Guerra right now has six tenths on Andrew Avalos. And that is Dalton Sears, Austin Taylor, Bentley McCann, Titus Roberts, uh, one of the transponder go karts, Lincoln Wiley, Kazen Hendrickson, and then another driver with some transponder issues. So uh, we got most of them fixed. Let's see if we can get the rest of them fixed so we can get some names to those go-karts and uh, get them mentioned here because they have some top 10 performances going on so far in warm up. All right, 40 seconds left here in the warm-up session. It's about a lap or two left for uh, these young drivers. O'Gara still leads over Dylan Thomas and his Bentley McCann, Andrew Avalos, Austin Taylor, Dalton Sears, Titus Roberts, Lincoln Wiley, Kaysen Hendrickson, Asher Ferris. That's your top 10 in this mini and micro swift uh, pairing. Uh, but for O'Gara, still... Uh, your leader there, uh, your dominant sportsman, looks to be pretty quick here in mini as it stands, but uh, still a long way to go, just warm up session before we get into qualifying. Titus Roberts now puts himself into second place, two tenths behind O'Gara's lap time, so I expect to see a pretty close field here, especially in the mini swift category there, as you just saw O'Gara go through the... Uh, bank section of the racetrack. This one session is complete. They're gonna get one they're gonna complete this lap and then pull over the pits and we'll get ready for our next class on the schedule. But for O'Gara, he is your quickest driver here to round out warm up before mini swift. Here uh, on your screen now is uh, uh, how the weather is here in Indiana. The currently 50 degrees uh, here uh, at the moment. Uh, you know, pretty sunny skies, uh, not too much. Uh, we did have a lot of wind uh, earlier today, but uh, it kind of died down here at the moment. Uh, clear skies, nothing really, uh, are, you know, expected uh, to come around. Uh, you know, very, very uh, different than what me and you are used to, Alex. You know, uh, we're so used to, you know, bipolar weather. Uh, you can have sunshine in one second, and then the rain all of a sudden just comes uh, uh, pool dozing through. Uh, but not like that here in Whiteland, Indiana. So uh, just uh, 50 degrees out, a little bit chilly. Uh, did have some jackets out, uh, beanies out this morning, uh, trying to keep warm. Uh, but uh, here uh, today, I mean, uh, the sun's still out, you know, kind of warming up the racetrack, uh, warming us up, uh, keeping everybody here warm. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, for your uh, weather so clear skies and and should be uh, a good day uh, a good second part of the day uh, of racing to cap off uh, what's been a pretty successful round number three uh, so far as uh, all those drivers come in and then Danny O'Gara looking to go two for two as he was quickest in morning qualifying so already off to a good start for uh, young Danny O'Gara uh, but from all of us here at Car Chaser uh, it's a privilege to be able to to put on this indie karting challenge on live for those of you around in, partner, in partnership with, with uh, the uh, karting alliance as well uh, the national karting alliance uh, nka um, who do a great job in 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 what they do so uh, it's a pleasure for us uh, being out here uh, and and don't forget uh, for those of you this is uh, your free coverage and i guess i, I believe you guys get uh, qualifying free as well uh, but whenever you guys um uh want to watch the uh the the, uh, the the main event racing and the uh, pre-final racing. Make sure to become a KC Premium member for nine ninety nine a month. You get all the racing action live, not just of the Indy Karting Challenge, but of every other race series that uh, uh, all, all of us here at Car Chaser go to, whether that's the Star Championship Series, the uh, Scusa Pro Tour, 
or the United States Pro Kart Series or, or whatever, anything that, uh, that, that we go to, uh, any other grassroots events, if you guys want to watch all that stuff, make sure to become a Casey Premium member for $9.99, for $9.99 a month and uh, you get to watch all that action live. Uh, but as we continue to cycle through our warm-up sessions, let's uh, take this uh, time to uh, take a quick word from our sponsors. I need a new 219 chain, I need a 77 tooth rich sprocket, I need, I need some more chain lube, and I need it probably as soon as like tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Dude, are you even listening? Like, we need this to run this weekend. Want anything else? What do you mean? I already got it in the car on Acceleration Kart Racing's online store, bro. All orders over $200 get free shipping. Oh, um, throwing a set of tires. Done. Everything you need, all in one place, and shipped to your door for free on orders of $200 or more. Exclusions apply. Shop AKR.com. Well, as our 206 Supermasters uh, make their way onto the racetrack right now, um, we get set uh, for the second hour warm-up qualifying, uh, warm-up sessions, I should say, and uh, we already have a, a spinner here early uh, in this one, but uh, our 206 Supermasters uh, have made their way onto the racetrack here, and they get the green flag for what's going to be uh, the first of their um, warm-ups here today. The first and the only one is uh, another one goes around uh, here and uh, good evasive action by that other driver so um, yeah I mean doing pretty good uh, for for these drivers as uh, they uh, you know try to get a feel for the track try to get warmed up get themselves warmed up get those engines warmed up uh, you know because uh, for some of these guys who, who probably got here uh, earlier today you know they're they're kind of itching to get out there on the racetrack and and, and just kind of waiting for their time to come. Uh, so, I mean, it, it's finally here. Uh, so, uh, you know, they're all probably super excited uh, to get out there and racing. So let's run you down your field here in this uh, 206 Supermasters class. Uh, it's going to be Tom Stevens in the number eight machine. And we have two uh, drivers with uh, we're unsure of as of yet. Uh, so that's, uh, that's going to be... Uh, Tom Stevens in the number eight machine. It's going to be Travis Wilbur in the number six. It's going to be William McLaughlin in the 56. In the 38, it's going to be Rick Hudson. In the 82, it's Richard Lemasters. In the number four is Scott Galladay. In the 91, it's Gary Burton. In the 46, it's going to be Jason Ewers. And in the 45, it's going to be Kent Bullware, all getting set to take the green flag for this 206 Supermasters uh, racing. And then I believe we just got some uh, updated names. The number two is uh, Richard Lowe. Uh, so Richard Lowe uh, just joined us after uh, getting a name on that transponder. Uh, thank you to uh, the entire timing and scoring team as well. Uh, and everybody who's able to, to put this show on uh, for all of us um, for all of us here at the track. And then everyone at home uh, who gets to watch uh, th this amazing series go at it uh, here uh, for what's going to be an action-packed year of racing all the way up to November until uh, you know uh, it, it all gets shut down for the winter and then we do it all over again next year but um, 
It's been a great first couple of rounds, and then uh, we have the privilege to, to obviously put on the stream for all of you guys at home uh, so you guys can enjoy it as much as we do here at the racetrack. So uh, a pleasure as uh, all these drivers uh, continue to cycle through with uh, just two minutes left in this 206 Supermasters warm-up session. Two minutes left here. Uh, still hoping to get a name on the driver in the top spot there, but a 44-5-3-5 is the time that all these drivers have to beat. Tom Stevens is the closest one to do so. He sets P2, Richard Lowe third, Travis Wilbur, William McLaughlin. That is your top five. Then it's, uh, I believe, it's going to be Tom Stevens. I think uh, Jason Ewer's time there is a little bit uh, mistaken. One of these times is a little bit mistaken there, but... Uh, Jason Ewers, Richard Lowe, Tom Stevens, Travis Wilbur, William McLaughlin. Uh, that's your top five. We see a bunch of drivers there in the mix on our screen right now, battling it out, giving us some good action here for our warm-up session. A minute 15 to go, uh, and a 44 flat is the time to beat. Obviously just warm-up session, though, so all these drivers just trying to do a bit of a shakedown. They haven't seen the track all day, so uh, now's their time to see it. Jason Ewers, that's the time to... That's the transponder uh, I think that we've been trying to fix. So uh, either way, Jason Ewers is now your pole, uh, not your pole man, but your, your fastest driver here in the wall position at a 44 flat. Tom Stevens goes P2 ahead of Richard Lowe. That's your top three in warm up. Uh, Wilbur and then Scott Galladay now puts himself inside the top five. 40 seconds remains before the checker flags out for this warm up session. All right, Checkered is out on our 206 Supermasters class. Jason Ewers is your fastest in the warm-up session. That is Tom Stevens. Travis Wilbur, William McLaughlin, Richard Lowe. That's your top five here for your 206 Supermasters warm-up session. Still four classes to go. And then we'll have our kick cart final, and then it's up to uh, qualifying for a lot of these drivers in the afternoon slate. So you will finally want to get behind the wheel, huh? Yeah, I've been shooting for three years and I've never got to drive. Well, you're going to need some more gear than just your helmet. Why don't you go to shopakr.com? They got their inventory online and they'll ship it the same day if you order before 5.30 p.m. Eastern. They got shoes? Yep. Gloves? Yep. Rim protectors? Got those too. Can they make me go fast? No. Here at Acceleration Kart Racing, we've got everything you need to get on track. What happens next? Well, that's on you. Check us out online at shopakr.com. Are you ready to get behind the wheel? From Formula One to NASCAR and IndyCar, all the pros start here. For more information, check us out online at mccarting.com or call us and go racing today. Welcome back to Whiteland Raceway Park, round three of the Indy Karting Challenge. Here's a couple of, uh, of our spinners there from our 206 Supermasters class from our warm-up session there. Good, good car control from all these guys. Keep it... Uh, Keep it on the racetrack there. Good avoiding action from one of those, uh, one of the 206 Supermaster drivers as well. Uh, and there's a good view of the lights. So you finally want to get here. behind the wheel, huh? Good view of the lighting system there that we got uh, going on here at Whiteland Raceway 
apart. So that was your 206 Super Masters class. We've already seen Mini and Micro as well. Uh, the next class up should be Senior Heavy. And yes, Senior Heavy is out on the racetrack. A couple of these guys are doing double duty from uh, 206 Masters. So the, the likes of Matt Gase, who uh, got a win in 206 Masters. He's here. Adam Deitz, he's running double duty here on Senior Heavy. Uh, Evan McCorkadale as well. Derek Barnes. Or uh, McCorkadale is actually doing from, from Senior Medium to Heavy. Then it's Troy Tony in the mix as well. Riley Galladay and Brennan Lorenk. Kaylor uh, Nicholson and Carl Morrow. Mar. That's going to be uh, the top 10 so far in Senior Heavy. Uh, a bunch of guys that we recognize from Senior Medium or Senior Masters. Yeah, so a lot of drivers uh, out here uh, in this one, uh, some doing double duty uh, in the 206 Senior Heavy, uh, as well as uh, we saw some of these drivers in, in, in Masters as well, the likes of Matt Geist uh, was, uh, was there as well, Adam Deist as well. Um, we're all drivers that, uh, that, that we saw earlier today in the morning sessions, so, um, you know, it's been a pretty good day of, uh, of racing so far, and, uh, you know, we're, we're excited to continue to, uh, to get the racing underway with uh, two and a half minutes to go in this 206 Senior Heavy warm-up, uh, and then we'll get uh, into the racing action. So I believe we still have our KA Juniors to make uh, to get the, to get them out onto the racetrack for their uh, final session. Uh, sorry, for their first session of the day. Final. I'm already trying to end their day before it even starts here uh, today. Um, so yeah, we're still waiting on our 206. Um, this is 206 Heavy, 206 Light. So we're also set to come out uh, and uh, and race here today. Uh, your mini micros, uh, we saw them go out earlier, and then your K8 juniors as well. So, a lot of drivers uh, working their way out onto the racetrack uh, still uh, to come. So, this is only three classes down, and then we'll obviously get to watch our Honda Kid Carts go at it uh, at 1.50 p.m. So, uh, a lot of action uh, coming your way here uh, in, uh, in this afternoon session. So a minute and a half left here in Senior Heaven. Evan, uh, Senior Heavy, Evan McCorkadale. Uh, so far uh, leads these guys in the warm up session 800 ahead of Adam Dietz, Troy Tony, JB Williams, Derek Barnes. That's your top five so far in Senior Heavy. Uh, Matt Geist there uh, in seventh. He was your winner in the Senior Masters class. So uh, yeah. I expect to see him up the order uh, come qualifying time. Decently close field here. McCorkadale extends his advantage to one tenth of a second. One, one and a half tenth separates your top three here, senior heavy. So uh, again, just warm up. Not a lot to go off of uh, until we get into qualifying to really see uh, where all these guys shape up. But so far, so good. I'd say for McCorkadale uh, on board that Burrell Art machine. 30 seconds and some change left here in the, the warm-up session as we uh, are coming to a close here in the final couple of groups in our afternoon slate before we get some kick cart finals underway and then qualifying for the afternoon groups as J.B. Williams tops timing sheets 43.186. Solid lap there for J.B., double duty for him as well from the Masters uh, side to the heavy side here, so uh, another driver that couldn't sleep in today. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, I'll, I'll replace him sleeping in for uh, double duty any day of the week. Uh, checker flag in the air. So for J.B. Williams, that'll most likely be top of the board here uh, and a confidence booster for him in this warm-up session ahead of Evan McCorkadero, Adam Dietz, uh, Adam Dietz uh, Troy Tony, and Derek Barnes. Yeah, so out onto the track, uh, next should either be your K8 uh, 100 Juniors or your uh, 206 Senior Light uh, class that I get set to go green. And I, I'm over here guessing, but I have the schedule here in this uh, trusty uh, Discord that I just uh, joined uh, today. So uh, don't forget, uh, for those of you guys that are, um, that are watching live here, uh, make sure you guys, uh, you know, uh, 
make sure to follow uh, the Indy Karting Challenge and uh, Whiteland Raceway Park on all social medias. Uh, we'll throw that graphic up for you guys uh, throughout the day as well. So there you have it. Uh, so you guys can uh, follow up and uh, stay up to date with everything that's going on in and around the paddock. And then for those of you guys at home, it's Whiteland Raceway Park on Facebook, Race WRP on Instagram, and then you guys can subscribe at Whiteland Raceway Park. And uh, that QR code there on the right, you scan it, and uh, it's it's an absolute eye opener. You get results, you get timing, you get uh, direct contact uh, with everybody uh, that uh, that is out here. So I mean. It's a, it's a great tool to have and, and for you guys to use uh, if you guys want to uh, stay up to date with everything uh, that's going on in and around the racetrack. So, Alex, uh, I'll be expecting to see you uh, join this Discord group here in a second so you can be as up to date as I am. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, no, I... Uh. That was good. That was good. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm joining it. I'm joining it now. So you can't. I'm not even. I'm not even messing around. I'm not even messing around anymore, dude. Like, I'm gonna call you out next week, and when we have our episode of Grid Talk, be like, dude, you haven't joined the Race WRP Discord yet, and I'll be mad at you, dude. No, I'll, I'll be, I won't talk I'll, I'm gonna to you be next a, week. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be an active member too, and you guys should be as well, because uh, <laughs> how else are you gonna know? What uh, schedule is when and when your class is at? You don't want to miss your class. I, I, I've had yeah. some friends go out there and they've missed their session, and I'm like, well, bro, you should have looked at the schedule. Well, bro. And they didn't. Well, bro. <laughs> and, and, well, and bro, you should have been so, in the Discord to see what group you were in, right? That's, yeah, that's so, what the Discord's uh, for. Just do when your class is going out there on the racetrack. Yeah, not even, not even messing around. It's a great tool to have. Uh, if you guys are in this Discord, and you see, I just got, I just got a notification. We just got 206 practice results uh, in from timing. So uh, thank you very much to our hardworking uh, people up in timing. This is a great tool to have. Seriously, man, not even messing around. Alex, you're still not in the in the Discord, so I'll I'll give you an hour. All right, by uh, by by 2:42 uh, Eastern time, you, you need to be in this Discord. All right, man. Dude, I was trying. I was trying to scan the Discord, and then it went away from my screen, dude. Uh, I'll be ready next time. I'll well, be ready. Well, the guys are gonna have to throw it back up uh, later on today. There you have it, Alex. Oh, there it scan is. Up, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, as our K8 juniors are out there on the racetrack, uh, yeah. Look. Yeah. So I. Yeah. There you go. You're in. I'm, nice. I'm Welcome now, to the. I am now the 429th member of the group. Hey, who's gonna be the 430th? I'll say it now. The, the 430th member of this Discord will get a KC hat uh, signed by uh, by the two short kings, uh, um, Alex Soro and Caleb Vieska. We'll make sure this happens. The 430th Discord member will get uh, a, a signed hat uh, from us at, at, at one of the upcoming rounds. Uh, we'll, we'll make let's, sure that let's happens. Let's make it happen. Yes. We'll make it happen. Probably not even signed. We'll just give you guys a free hat. Nobody cares about us. But... <laughs> We'll give you guys a free hat to the 430th <laughs> member of the Discord. Uh, so you guys make sure to join up. All right, KA100 Jr. now. Let's start you down your field finally, Alex. Enough messing around. Uh, Landon Brewer uh, in the 820. It's Mason um, Delian in the 64. Dane Van uh, Dyke in the 79. Ryan Mort in the 812. Charlie Myers in the 886. Lucian Lacer in the 8, double duty. Uh, for him as well. Evan Patton in the 61. Graham Huffman in the 15. Uh, so eight drivers getting set to take the green flag for today's racing action uh, here in this one. So this is uh, going to be free for those of you guys watching right now, uh, the warm-up sessions. Uh, warm-up is free as well as qualifying. But after that, when we get into racing action, for $9.99 a month, you can become a KC Premium member and watch all the racing action live and uh, when uh, it's happening, so uh, it's a, it's great to have if you want to watch yourself, a grandkid, or uh, or uh, your kids uh, racing there on the racetrack. It's also a good a, a good tool to use if you want to protest an unfair penalty. If we cut it on the cameras, you can go up there. Uh, actually, I don't know if that's true uh, uh, for the Indy Karting Challenge, but um, you know it's a cool penalty to have a, 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 a cool tool to have at some other series that, that you could probably use, uh, just a different angle. Uh, but yeah. Uh, for $9.99 a month, become a KC Premium member, and you can watch all the racing action live to every single racing series that we go to in the U.S. All 41 uh, events that we have scheduled, and, and probably way more uh, with the Indy Karting Challenge, the Motorsports Championship Club of Cincinnati, and their Pro-Am Championship, and a lot more. 
uh, a lot more uh, racing action that we'll do um, throughout the year. So, uh, again, for $9.99 a month, become a Casey Cream member. And uh, we, we hope to see most of you guys on, that, uh, on the uh, membership stream uh, later today. Uh, but for these K100 juniors, uh, with a minute and 10 seconds left in their session, it's the Landon Boer who's top of the timing screens here in this one. Yeah, minute left here in K junior warm up. Landon Boer ahead of uh, Dan Van Dyke, Ryan Moore, Mason uh, Galen, and Charlie Myers, five tenths uh, off of Landon Boer's time. But your top three is separated by just two tenths of a second. So we're in for a. Uh, a good race here in the K Junior class, just like what we saw in the KA Senior class. Uh, the K100 uh, categories always put on a good show here, uh, especially with uh, you know with how Whiteland uh, Raceway Park races. It's such a good racetrack here for these KA100 uh, machines. Uh, draft playing a factor, but again, it, it's a technical enough racetrack to where if you're quick around this place, you can really uh, uh, stretch your legs here. So, Landon Boer uh, showing the way so far, two tenths ahead of uh, Dan Van Dyke, Brian Moore, uh, Mason Gallian, and Charlie Myers. Then it's Lucian Laser doing double duty here at Junior 206, now K Junior. Uh, Evan Patton as well, double duty for him. And then Graham Huffman, he's not out there as it stands, but he's uh, signed up for this uh, race here at K Junior. Ryan Mort now goes purple, 38-3-3-1. He just put four tenths between himself and Landon Boer, Dan Van Dyke. He goes second, three tenths behind Ryan Mort's time. So uh, the times continue to tumble here. Uh, I'm, sh I'm sure uh, we'll see lap times probably in the 37 second range when uh, qualifying uh, comes around here later in the afternoon. But uh, check a flag in the air. So for Ryan Mort, he is your fastest driver in the warm up session for KA Junior. No. Landon Boer takes that top spot, so a 38 flat for the 820 machine. He goes to the top. Ryan Mort, then Dan Van Dyke puts the person the best in the last lap. So too does Charlie Myers. So again, just warm up, but uh, it's a confidence booster. And anytime you can top the boards in, in any session uh, at a go kart track, it's always a good time. Yeah, good time indeed. Um, you know, speaking of Discord, I, I I just sent our our stream link in that in that chat because somebody needed it you see i'm i'm already you know we talked about being an active user and and you know uh i'm i'm already a, an active member of that of that uh of that chat trying to help people out as well as uh, everybody around if people have questions be uh, feel free to answer and 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 to uh you know uh, give a hand even in and around the paddock uh but yeah for those of you guys uh, in and around the paddock again the 430th discord member is going to get a hat uh, from Car Chasers, make sure to become uh, uh, part of that Discord channel uh, uh, here uh, today. As uh, I see uh, one of our uh, our track, um, our flagman, uh, get his phone out, and it's probably to join that Discord group, dude. I'm telling you, Alex. <laughs> I'm telling you, we we, we got to get these guys. We got to get these guys rolling. I, I I bet you he's checking the Discord chat right now. Again, there you have it. QR code at the bottom of your screens. Make sure to become part of that uh, Discord uh, group. And the 430th member is going to get a hat uh, from us here at Cart Chaser. Follow uh, Race WRP on all social medias. And for myself and Alex uh, Xander Searle, it's uh, it's been a pleasure, uh, you know, so far in this warm-up session. We uh, do have qualifying and another um, another round of warm-ups getting set to go green. Uh, but you're watching Cart Chaser's live coverage of the Indy Karting Championship. Don't go anywhere. Alrighty, well, our um, last couple of uh, classes go through for the last of their warm-up sessions. Uh, after this, we are going to go green with our Kid Kart um, main event racing. So this is your 206 Senior Light uh, on what's uh, a super stacked and packed class uh, here so far. So let's uh, try and run you down your field here. 
as we put some uh, some names uh, with uh, transponders here. We have uh, I'll run you down uh, the drivers that we do know. So it's Nick Patton in the 21. It's going to be uh, Braden Mayfield in the number four. It's uh, in the 48. It's going to be Gage Justiniano uh, in the number six. Levi Wilbur. Keegan Day in the number seven. Uh, Dominic Stancombe in the 717. Jared uh, Howerton in the 78. As uh, more and more drivers. Elijah Fox uh, out here as well in the 01 plate. Uh, Ryan Genschimer, Genschimer, sorry, in the 919 um, there as well. Uh, again, if you guys um, if you guys uh, have any questions, be sure uh, to, um, or, or any aim corrections, you can either use the live chat or you can use the, the Discord uh, channel that we've been talking about all day uh, there as well. Uh, so if you guys uh, have any uh, name corrections or whatever you guys want to send in, I will feel free uh, to uh, to make sure to mention that. But as well, I mean, uh, get into the live chat. Let us know where you guys are watching from. Uh, myself and Alex uh, love to see you know people from all around. Uh, join up and, and and see where you guys are watching from, uh, whether it be your trailer, your your um, you know your uh, your your kitchen, whatever, wherever your living room, uh, your your mobile home, whatever it is, uh, you know your your hauler, whatever it is, uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll definitely love to hear where you guys are, are, are watching us uh, from. Yeah, for sure. Uh, always good to see uh, you know viewers from from all around. Uh, you know, tuning in to watch the IndyCar Day Challenge here at uh, White River Raceway Park. This is round three, uh, of course. So you're watching the afternoon slates uh, here. We saw our morning groups already finish their future races. Now this is the warm-up for the afternoon groups. This is the final uh, group in the afternoon slate, and it's the senior light class. This is uh, a majority of these drivers also race the senior medium class that we saw earlier in the morning, uh, including Elijah Fox, Ryan Jenshammer, Levi Wilbur, Jared Howerton, the winner in senior medium. Dominic Stancombe, Braden Mayfield, Dylan Howerton, Gage Justiniano, Nick Patton. Uh, that's your top 10 here in senior light. A really close field as expected. Uh, it's 206 racing. It's awesome racing, and I expect uh, this to be one of the best races we see all day long. You can already see the battling uh, commencing here uh, just for some warm up racing. Uh, nonetheless, though, it's always fun to see these guys go side by side. Uh, at any point during the weekend, Levi Wilbur goes P2 there, five hundredths off of the top time there. Uh, still some transponder uh, issues for that driver uh, top in the board, but a 42.198 is the time to beat. 50 seconds and some change left in this warm-up session before we get set for some kid cart feature racing. Alex, I tell you what, dude. Someone, someone just became the 430th member. I'm not sure who it is. We'll find out. We'll find you. And uh, we'll definitely get that hat to you. But uh, the Discord group's already at 430, so that's good to see. And uh, someone's getting a, a free hat uh, from all of us here uh, at Car Chaser. So that's really cool to see. Um, uh, I guess we'll have to go even bigger for the 450th member uh, when we get to round uh, number four. I, who knows what we'll give away then uh, for the 450th member, or hopefully maybe in the, 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 the 500th member uh, at that point. But. More and more drivers uh, continuing to cycle through as uh, the time uh, is about to expire here. And um, these drivers will get the checkered flag uh, when they cross the stripe next time by. So that's going to be it for your 206 Senior Light warm-up. After this, we're going to go green and uh, racing with your Honda Kid Karts uh, for their main event. And then after that... We're going to dive straight into qualifying for all these classes and then uh, go into main event, uh, sorry, heat racing and then main event racing uh, for uh, the rest of the day. So this is your afternoon groups for the Indy Karting Challenge where Senior Light just uh, just crossed the stripe and that was it for their session. Uh, but when we return, it's going to be green and main event racing for your Honda Kid Karts. You're watching Kart Chasers live coverage of the Indy Karting Challenge. Don't go anywhere.
Well, welcome back to the Indy Karting Challenge, live from Whiteland Raceway Park, as uh, the last of our uh, warm-ups uh, got done, and uh, our Honda kit carts uh, onto the racetrack. Well, not even Honda kit carts, our 206 kit carts. Sorry, I've been saying that wrong uh, all day. Um, so our 206 kit carts uh, onto the racetrack. I believe there may be some Hondas in there uh, as well, but our 206 uh, kit carts uh, make their way out onto the racetrack. And, and, you know, myself being from Texas, we don't see many uh, of the, the uh, 206 kit carts uh, out there. Usually Honda kit carts is all we get uh, at our local series and our regional series of the Texas Racing Series. And already some carnage early on in this one uh, for these kit carts who... Uh, uh, get set to go underway and uh, just a little too excited guys uh, that you have uh, parents go out there on the racetrack trying to help all these drivers uh, get uh, get going uh, for racing action here uh, shortly so and uh, we get the um, the staff as well to get them in the correct grid order so uh, that'll be uh, good to watch uh, for all these uh, drivers uh, that are that are out here you know learning uh, spending some time at, at the racetrack with, with friends parents um, and all that uh, and all that fun stuff so uh, you know it, it's it, it's it's a good time for the, for the entire family to, to come out here and and, and, and to race to, to, to spend time at the racetrack and 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 to have fun uh, which is the the, um, the main point of uh, this kid cart class uh, so here for um, their main event as uh, they get set for uh, their final time here uh, this weekend as uh, a, a nice little program that they have going on here for the Honda Kid Cards, giving them almost an hour uh, to themselves on the racetrack. They have their warm-up. Then their, um, I believe the warm-up is uh, like their qualifying as well. Um, so, yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, I, I think that is, uh, that is uh, yeah, so the, the practice is uh, 10 minutes long, and then they have a, a heat race that's uh, six laps. Then they have uh, their uh, final, that's eight laps, which is uh, about to go green here uh, shortly. Again, uh, your, um, your, your layout for the rest of the day, it's uh, th this uh, Honda Kid Kart. Uh, no, Honda, I need to stop saying Honda Kid Kart, goodness gracious. Your Kid Kart class. Uh, it's uh, the finals uh, coming up next. It's eight laps, and then we get uh, straight into qualifying. Uh, five minutes uh, long each session. And uh, the heat races as well, five minutes plus two laps. And then the, the final and main events are nine minutes plus two laps uh, for the rest of the, the six classes uh, the, that will be out here. Uh, sorry, five classes that will be out here. Uh, no, it's six because of micro and mini. So apologies for that. Uh, so mini and micro get separated and then they all get uh, ready racing. Alex, you know, uh, I'll tell you what, as short as we are, I, I think we could probably, uh, if, if we lost a couple of pounds, I think we could probably sit in either a mini or micro and maybe even a, a, a kit cart here. What do you think? This, this is, it has to be friendly fire, dude. Like, I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why you're coming after me, bro. Like, we're the same height. <laughs> that, okay, being said, wow. that being said, that being said, that being said, I think I think we just came up with a new class. I mean, for all the short kings out there, uh, let's get let's get senior uh, kid cart. I think it'll be a good class. I think that would be a f like imagine imagine you reduce 206, the weight, right? Two oh six short king senior. <laughs> two oh six short king senior. That class coming your way in a couple of years time. I'll I'll, I'll get with Joe Janowski and the entire NKA group. The the Indy Karting Challenge as well. We'll make Whiteland Raceway Park the home of uh, of the 206 Short King uh, Senior Karting Championship, whatever you want to call it. But uh, our Honda Kid Karts are getting underway here. Uh, they have a revised layout as well. And off to a good start for a lot of these drivers, almost uh, almost uh, over 10 of them um, here in this Honda, in Honda Kid Kart, this, uh, this uh, Kid Kart uh, class. So uh, as uh, there, uh, there you have it as well. Uh, Alex, uh, for all these uh, all these kick carts that are out there on the racetrack now, and uh, one driver off to a, a really good gap so far. Uh, it's uh, Tate Hall in the 58 as well. Uh, done a good job so far to put a gap uh, further back to that second place driver of Diesel Maxwell as well. Yeah, you see the uh, you see the uh, the gap starting to come in. So it's actually Diesel Maxwell. Uh, who's currently in that first spot, Kyler Hendrickson, in the second spot, Tate Hall fell back to third, Cohen uh, Flancer 
uh, currently fourth, and Parker Moore rounding out your top five here, Alex. Yeah, just like what we saw in that uh, heat race there, Diesel Maxwell with a great start to open up this feature race. An eight lap feature race for Diesel, already a four second lead over the likes of Kyler Hendricks and Tate Hall, Cohen Flanzer, and Parker Moore. So for Diesel, look at the gap that he has. You can see it on your screen right now. That was Diesel, uh, you know, uh, driving in front of our camera there, and then the rest of the cavalry uh, behind him. So uh, Hendrickson there, four and a half seconds back. Tate Hall, two seconds behind uh, him. Cohen Flanzer, Parker Moore, Grace Geist, uh, Nema Simonellic, James Fox, uh, Sophia Wolfong just got around. James Fox there, Bo Lasser, Stella Hendrickson, and Miles Hale. That's your uh, top 12 here at the Jake Carts. 12 laps, uh, or sorry, six laps to go here. Two laps in the books. There's a look at Diesel Maxwell uh, all by himself, uh, walking away from the field there. So Diesel, uh, or sorry, that is the uh, 15 there. That might be Miles Hale, I think, uh, actually, instead of uh, Diesel Maxwell. So yeah, that's going to be Miles Hale uh, on our screen. But Diesel Maxwell now, the gap has closed. 3.6 seconds between Diesel and Kyler Hendrickson. So uh, Diesel must have made a mistake somewhere because that gap is closing five laps to go here uh, it's still in the cards for Kyler yeah not too far back for uh, Kyler Hendricks in here at the moment uh, only three seconds a lot of racing uh, uh, action to go and, and as we saw at the end of the uh, KA uh, senior race anything can happen uh, so you know uh, for for Kyler uh, definitely, you know, working his way back up to the uh, rear bumper of Diesel there as uh, they both crossed the line just now and setting their personal best lap time. So that's pretty good to see. Uh, and, and really the, the, the entire goal for these uh, for these kid carts and uh, for these kids who are, who are so young, you know, to, uh, to, to see out at the racetrack, having a good time, running around, uh, kicking a ball around, throwing a football, whatever it is, uh, eating too much candy, uh, you know, uh, that's all the stuff uh, that... Uh, that we love to see from from all these uh, from all these kids. Yeah, for sure. It's always good to have a, a good time at the racetrack, uh, as well as obviously racing at the racetrack. So, three laps to go. Three point seven second advantage now for Diesel Maxwell. Four point one as they cross the line. So Kyler Hendrickson starting to lose ground again to Diesel Maxwell. Tate Hall in third. Kelton Flanzer, Parker Moore. That's your top five here in Kid Cart, and then it's Grace Geist, Nama Simonelic, Bo Lasser, James Fox, Fia Wolfong, Parker Moore, puts in a personal best that time by. So, uh, Diesel Maxwell still your leader though, two and a half laps to go for Diesel and a top step on the podium. They just got the two sticks in the air. Two laps to go for Diesel Maxwell. 4.7 seconds. He is extending his advantage over the rest of the field. Impressive stuff for Diesel, just like what he did in the heats, trying to replicate it here in the final. The 141 machine walking away from the rest of the field there. Uh, we got a couple of drivers uh, further back going off the racetrack there. Uh, in the last couple of corners, last lap, white flag in the air for Diesel Maxwell. Seven laps in the books, one lap to go. And on the last lap there, Kyler Hendrickson made a big mistake, two seconds slower than what Maxwell did. So Diesel Maxwell flying here, uh, just like what we've come to expect from Diesel. So they're getting the white flag. That's to let them know one to go, two to go. Sorry from our flag man there. So uh, apologies for the, the, the timing there for some of the some of these uh, drivers further back but they should be getting the white flag the one to go signal any moment now for diesel maxwell who has a 6.7 second advantage out front ahead of kyle hendrickson tate hall grace geist parker more after your top five here in the kid cart class So that's going to be it for your kid carts. Uh, a good race for Diesel Maxwell. I uh, was able to take the win here uh, at the Indy Karting Challenge for round number three.
uh, in this one. So uh, after this, we're going straight into uh, qualifying uh, sessions uh, for all of our um, for all of our older classes, and uh, they will get set to go green. And there you have it. The checkered flags are out, and uh, that's going to be the end of that one. Uh, here coming up shortly, it's going to be your two. Um, we have two 206 classes and 206 medium, actually three, uh, not even medium. It's a 206 light, 206 uh, junior, uh, sorry, not junior, 206 light, a 206 heavy, and 206 super masters. Your mini and micro sub classes are going to be split up uh, for qualifying as well. And your KA100 junior, so those are your six classes getting set to go uh, green here uh, shortly for your qualifying sessions. Uh, each five minutes long, uh, and then uh, whenever we get to heat racing, it's uh, five minutes plus two laps. And then final and main event racing, nine minutes plus two laps. So uh, before we go straight into qualifying, let's take this time uh, to take a quick word from our amazing sponsors. Don't go anywhere. Well, as we see uh, all these drivers uh, hanging out around uh, the grid, welcome back to the Indy Karting Challenge, uh, round number three, live from White uh, from Whiteland Raceway Park, uh, where we've had a, a great day of uh, racing here today, and uh, had a had a have have had a, you know an action-packed day of racing. Uh, here, uh, so uh, joining me in the booth is the one and only Alexander Searle. My name is Caleb Viesca. Uh, joining you guys uh, here this weekend. It's been a pleasure uh, seeing uh, so many uh, familiar faces out on the racetrack, and uh, and seeing you know everybody having a good time and in good spirits. As they're on your screens, you can see your uh, 206 Supermasters getting set to go out onto the racetrack, and uh, Danny O'Gara uh, waiting uh, to go out onto the racetrack uh, later today. Uh, as uh, he already has one win uh, down and looking to make it two later today. But there go your 206 Supermasters who uh, work their way out onto the racetrack now uh, for their five minutes of qualifying here um, in this one, uh, Alex. Five minutes, five minutes of qualifying action here for the 206 Supermasters. We saw a really close... Uh, Warm up between these guys there. Uh, your warm up order was the likes of Jason Ewers, who topped the timing sheets, but only a couple of tenths ahead of um, Richard Lowe in second there, Tom Stevens in third, then it was Travis Wilbur fourth, William McLaughlin. That was your top five in warm up. So now for qualifying, let's see if that order remains the same or if some of these guys figured uh, some of their issues out or. 
know, maybe this, we're testing some things well, that they didn't like, and now they're going back to their normal setup. But that's what warm up is all about. Four minutes to go already in qualifying. One driver sets a lap now, twice now two. So as viewers of 46.409, we were seeing lap times closer to like the 44 range uh, in warm ups. So these lap times should at least be down there, but with some new tires. Potentially a 43 uh, is is in the cards here for these Supermasters. So uh, if this morning is anything to go off of, we should expect to see the lap time start to tumble around lap three or four when the tires get in that window, the drivers get in that window, and uh, really you know get the best out of their uh, out of their uh, equipment here in this qualifying session. So the 46 of Jason Ewers tops the board. William McLaughlin now in second. There's a good look at Richard Lowe there in the all-white uh, OTK. And then behind him is the number six of Travis Wilbur. These two working together. Uh, and they sit right now second and uh, fourth as it stands. So Jason Ewers puts together a flyer of 44.890. Uh, that's a really good lap time for lap two of qualifying. I still expect lap times to tumble a little more than what we're seeing right now. But for Jason Ewers to be five tenths out of the field is pretty impressive. Yeah, a good start so far uh, to this qualifying session for Jason Ewers. I mean, we have seen a lot of drivers, you know, put a gap on the field, but when it comes to the racing action, it's a whole different story, right, uh, whenever uh, they get down to it. Uh, because uh, we obviously know two carts are stronger than one, and, and we have seen that, uh, you know, come into effect uh, here today already uh, across uh, multiple races that we've seen uh, so far. But for Jason Ewers in the 46, doing a great job uh, there on your screen. Uh, that's, uh, I believe, uh, the 140, uh, or no, it, it, it's, a, it's a double digit number. I think it's the 56, if I'm not mistaken here. So that, I think that's William McLaughlin, if I'm not mistaken. Or that could even well be Jason Ewers uh, here. Uh, well, let's see if we can take a better look at that, at that cart there on your screens. And then more and more drivers out here on the racetrack uh, uh, working their way around. And uh, a little sideways here going into the bowl. So with a minute 50 left in this qualifying session, it's still Jason Ewers at the top of the timing screens. Travis Wilbur currently second. And uh, well, was second for a second because Tom Stevens uh, there worked his way up to second now. Uh, William McLaughlin currently fourth. Richard Lowe uh, rounding out your top five here in this one. So uh, not too bad so far for Jason Ewers with uh, the time uh, starting to dwindle down here with just uh, over a minute to go. Yeah, time uh, is of the essence for these drivers. But for Jason Ewers, like I said, a 43 was in the cards, and a 43.924 is what we're at right now for Ewers. A second back is second place, Tom Stevens. Then it's William McLaughlin. Then it's Wilbur uh, in fourth. Richard Lowe on your screen right now. He sits in fifth as it stands. Scott Galladay, Mike uh, Bowker, Rick Hudson, Richard Lavasters, Gary Lynn. That's your top ten. That is Gary Burton and Kent Bolware. That's your field for Supermasters as it stands. Still 45 seconds at least. A lap or so to go. Gary Lynn climbs up to fifth uh, here in qualifying. Rick Hudson, a personal best. Richard Lamaster is a personal best as well. Uh, not many other drivers, though, setting PBs as it stands right now. There's the 91 of Gary Burton crossing the stripe. He'll get at least a lap or two more of qualifying action left uh, for Jason Ewers, the 43.924 is most likely going to stand as the next closest driver, the second back, and that is the number eight machine of Tom Stevens. Yeah, so there you have it uh, for all those drivers that are uh, uh, still trying to uh, continue to cycle through here with uh, the time now uh, officially running out here. Uh, so the session officially over now and checkered flag for a couple of drivers. Rick Hudson got the checkered. A couple of others uh, as well for Scott uh, Galladay got the checkered as well and uh, uh, Mike uh, Bo Kurt as well uh, getting the checkered flag uh, for Jason Ewers, Travis Wilbur and company. They will get one more go at it here uh, as they will be the last couple uh, to cross the line. Uh, let's see what it looks like. McLaughlin can improve and uh, I think that's going to be the story here for the majority of these drivers just not being able to improve um, so late in the qualifying session. Travis Wilbur as well not improving or he does improve there i'm sorry tom stevens uh, as well so uh checkered flags uh, up in the air and that's going to be it for 206 supermaster qualifying jason ewers 
your top qualifier and starting on that inside row uh, whenever we get set to go green here in, uh, in, in a couple of minutes time. It'll be like 30, 30 to 40 minutes time uh, for these drivers uh, to do any last little bit of adjustments, change any last little bit of setup, uh, you know, fix whatever uh, gremlins on the go-kart and uh, get set to go green uh, later on today uh, for their first of their pre-final uh, heat races. And then uh, the main event later today, uh, but coming up uh, next, I believe it's your Mini Swift class uh, that will uh, work their way onto the racetrack uh, here shortly. So your micro swifts out on the racetrack now. Uh, I, I, it was either that or, or, or mini swift, and I obviously uh, chose incorrectly. Uh, and uh, it's definitely uh, the micro swifts that are onto the racetrack now uh, here at Whiteland Raceway Park. It's Patrick McNeely in the 538, uh, Liet Salmonellic in the 40. Uh, Chase Call, double duty for him. He's in the 15, and the first two drivers, not too sure uh, as of yet, as we don't have uh, names on uh, those transponders uh, for now. Uh, but a lot of racing action uh, still uh, set to get underway uh, here shortly. Oh, uh, actually, we just got uh, another name update, so thank you very much to our uh, people up at um, Timing and Scoring, uh, Reagan Hodges in the 33 uh, out here as well uh, double duty and uh, the number two not too sure uh, who that is as of yet uh, but yeah the confirmation uh, Reagan Hodges currently quickest in the 33 Reagan Hodges doing uh, what she did in the 206 cadet class more the same here in the micro swift class as it stands she has topped bo the board but uh, got overtaken there by uh, one of the drivers with some transponder issues, so uh, we'll see if we can get a name to that transponder here, but Chase Call, P2, Patrick McNeely, third, Liet Seminalic, fourth, and then uh, what was Reagan Hodges is now turned into a transponder, um, but we know that is Reagan Hodges now sitting there in fifth, so let's see if she can improve on her lap time and replicate the pace that she showed in the 26 Cadet class. Here's a good look at the 33 machine. Absolutely flying there. Super smooth hands. Just like what we saw in the Twisted Cadet class. She's going to cross the line. Let's see where this lap puts her. It will not update as it stands. Uh, so hopefully for, for Reagan's sake. There it goes. 43-6-3-8. Top of the board by one whole second so far. Two and a half minutes to go for Reagan to see if she can hold on to a second pole position of the day. Yeah, so let's see uh, what Reagan uh, could do here. Um, uh, see if she can go two for two on pole positions uh, here today. Uh, she's had a good drive so far, and like you said, uh, just couldn't come out with the... Uh, uh, I think it was Reagan, right, uh, who lost the uh, side pod uh, of her uh, of her go-kart in, um, in, in the first couple of uh, main events uh, earlier today, so... Uh, hopefully those side pods stay on uh, the racetrack and hopefully Reagan slows down a bit so they won't uh, keep flying off uh, here at Alex. Yeah, for sure. And it was her on the second to last lap. So super unfortunate for her to lose the side pod uh, so close to the end of the race. But yeah, it was super, uh, one of those weird instances that happens in races sometimes where you have no idea why it happened. It just happens and it's uh, an unlucky situation to be a part of. But for Reagan, she's, uh, you know, answering back here and setting... The, the timing score is ablaze uh, with uh, 43 491, a second quicker than anybody else on the racetrack as it stands. Chase Call, the closest one to her in 206 Cadet. Same thing here in Micro Swift. He is P2 as it stands. Patrick McNeely, third. Liet Simonelic, 
That's going to round out your uh, Microsoft class as it stands. Still one minute and some change left in this qualifying session. So these drivers will get about two more laps. Here's the replay from the 206 uh, cadet class earlier today. This was two laps to go in the feature race. And just like that, slides right off with uh, with, with nothing else. Uh, she, she made no mistakes that race. The only thing I can think of is the, the contact of Brett Hastings earlier in that race might have dislodged it, but it was just such a weird situation that it happened so late in the race. Uh, so yeah, unfortunate for her for that to happen, but nonetheless, she is bouncing back here in a big way. Four tenths clear now, because Leah Simonelic, he was sitting in fourth for the entirety of this qualifying session. He's put a flyer down to put himself P2, Chase Call in third, a personal best there, and then Patrick McNeely, that's your top four. The entire field separated by six tenths of a second, so a pretty close field here in Michael Swift, uh, con considering there's only four drivers, but for Reagan Hodges, uh, she's going to feel like she's the only driver out there with how fast she's going. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Reagan uh, flying here uh, in this qualifying session. Uh, four tenths clear uh, at the moment to Leah uh, Simonelic. Uh, and Chase Call currently sits in that third spot. Patrick McNeely currently sits in the fourth spot here uh, so the checkered flag is out reagan hodges uh, at the moment uh, still holds on to that pole position we obviously have to wait for the rest of the drivers to cycle through but it looks good for uh, reagan hodges uh, who looks set to get her second uh, pole position of the day here in the micro swift class mini swift coming your way here shortly you're watching car chasers live coverage of the Indy Karting Challenge, live from Whiteland Raceway Park, America's oldest uh, kart track, racetrack, I believe. Uh, so, uh, a pleasure to be out here for myself and uh, for myself, Caleb Vieska, and uh, my partner in crime, Alexander Searle. We'll be right back after this quick message from our sponsors. We're at a commercial break. All right, welcome back to Whiteland Raceway Park, round three of the Indy Karting Challenge here, and you can get a good look at the Indy uh, Indy Karting Challenge flags there. Uh, about a blow over onto the racetrack, how windy it is out here. I mean, you get a decent idea of the wind gusts there. I believe that says it looks like about 12 to 15 mile an hour wind gusts. So that's going to affect the racing here. It was windy this morning, but I, it seemed to have slowed down. It picked up again and rather quick here, Caleb, and that wind is heading, uh, it's a headwind onto the front straight away. A bit of a, a bit of a side wind, should I say, and then a tailwind uh, is what it's going to do uh, if you're on the back straight. Look at those, you can see those flags in the middle of the racetrack blowing over. So it, it's about a, it's a side wind into a tailwind on the back straight. So we're going to see um, the draft play less of a factor on the, on the back straight, but on the front straight with a headwind. The draft will play more of a factor now with some side wind uh, to have to deal with as well in these faster sweepers uh, it might catch you off guard especially in these smaller chassis where you're lighter and all of a sudden a bit of a wind gust can move your go-kart up the racetrack about a car length so this is going to add a wrench in things for some of these drivers to have to worry about maybe some gear changes will be uh, in play and necessary if the wind continues at this pace but yeah the wind is out and about uh so the only thing i would say because weather wise it's been great 52 degrees sunny uh all day not a cloud in the sky but the wind the wind is back and it wants to play so uh for daniel guerra and mini in the mini swift class uh doesn't seem to affect him too much uh 
he's blowing away the rest of the competition as it stands right now. Three tenths ahead of Austin Taylor. Then it's uh, Andrew Avalos. But how about it? Will Feichtinger. Double duty for him as well. 41 flat. He goes purple. Top of the board ahead of Daniel Guerra, Austin Taylor, Avalos, Thomas, Gaddis, McCann, Ferris, Robert Sears. That's your top 10. And speaking of which, top 10 separated by less than four tenths of a second. So uh, impressive stuff here for all of our mini swift drivers. Here's a look at, uh, I believe, Daniel Guerra there crossing the line. He goes back to the top of the board. 41 flat. Uh, between him and Feichtinger, it's 800 of a second. So a super close field all throughout. Austin Taylor now goes P2. So move O'Gara to P1, Taylor 2, Feichtinger third, a minute and 50 seconds and change for these drivers. Still a lot of time left. Uh, anything can happen here in this qualifying session. Yeah, so uh, definitely a lot of time left here in this qualifying session. Still Daniel Guerra who holds on to that pole position, but uh, Austin Taylor not too far back in uh, the number 24. Uh, so let's see what Austin Taylor can do uh, here as well, as well as uh, Feichtinger uh, as well in the third spot here at the moment. So very close in between the top three. Uh, we're all, uh, you know, battling in, in, in the same 10th uh, for uh, qualifying results here. Austin Taylor uh, still second. Lincoln Wiley up to fifth here at the moment. Dylan Thomas as well uh, up to seventh. And uh, there it is. Uh, for Will Feichtinger uh, set, that la uh, set that lap in a 40.976. So for Danny O'Gara, only two hundredths of a second uh, slower than Will Feichtinger last time by. Let's see what it looks like for O'Gara and his MPG Kart Republic this time when he crosses a stripe as he gets set to go. And back to the top of the timing screens here. For Danny, and wow, just as I say that, Titus Roberts out of nowhere uh, goes purple, a 40.388. So a lot of shuffling so far uh, with 30 seconds left in this qualifying session. This is going to be it, the final lap around uh, for a lot of these drivers. So let's see what they can do and who will put it on the pole position here at Whiteland Raceway Park. O'Gara through the bull. A lot of other drivers around the racetrack as well uh, trying to set in. Uh, whatever last little bit and squeeze out whatever last little bit of pace that they have uh, left in their go-kart. So Guerra, will he uh, be close enough uh, to set in another lap? And I think he will, actually. Uh, so for Daniel Guerra, can't improve that lap. Uh, is going to stay in second. Austin Taylor does go quicker. Not quick enough, though. Uh, checkered flag is out, though. So for Austin Taylor, won't get another lap. Neither will uh, Benton Lee McCann or Dylan Thomas. Daniel Guerra, though, can still deny... Titus Roberts from that pole position here. Uh, last time by, uh, O'Gara did not have a good lap and is going to look to change that here as uh, we get to the closing stages of this qualifying session. Can O'Gara deny Roberts uh, from the pole position when he crosses the stripe? Uh, Roberts, uh, I believe, uh, not out there on the racetrack anymore, but Danny O'Gara is in for his final time around. Can O'Gara improve? And he does not. So Danny O'Gara doesn't improve, and it's going to be Titus Roberts who puts it on the pole position here in Mini Swift. What a qualifying session. A lot of shuffling, a lot of moving. But in the end, it was Titus Roberts who puts it on the pole position. Danny O'Gara going to start on his outside. Austin Taylor starting on that second row alongside Will Feichtinger, who was on the provisional pole for a second, uh, but not long enough, wasn't able to hold on in the end. Bentley McCann, fifth. Dylan Thomas, sixth. Kazen Hendrickson, seventh. Lincoln Wiley, eighth andrew avalos ninth and there's uh the rest of your drivers uh, who cycle through for that mini swift class uh, still to come we have our 206 uh and our ka100 juniors so 206 light uh, hitting the racetrack uh, here as well as our ka100 juniors alex yeah ka100 juniors senior lights uh, right now we're gonna see the 206 heavy guys hit the racetrack. Something really cool to note that uh, O'Gara and Austin Taylor actually ran the same exact lap time, but O'Gara did it before Austin Taylor, so that's going to put him P2 uh, and Austin Taylor third. If, I, if I'm Austin Taylor, I'm actually glad that happened because to me, the inside row is the row you want to be on. Yeah. Uh, for most of the races we've seen, uh, the outside lane gets left to dry, so the guy in third usually becomes second. So for Austin Taylor, uh, good on him to set that lap behind O'Gara. Uh, but yeah, really, it's always cool to see when uh, two drivers there can match the lap times of each other. It goes to show you how close this competition is. Uh, here, here's a look at the 206 Heavy guys getting some fist bumps from some of our younger drivers there. Always good to see the sportsmanship all throughout the different classes there. Uh, 
these heavy guys doing double duty most of them a lot of these guys ran the 206 masters class this morning now they're saying all right let's get into 206 heavy cart uh they're still feeling lively still feeling ready to go out there and, and go out there for about 30 more laps today so uh yeah feeling good there's a look at uh matt gase there your winner in 206 masters looking to go for a double here in 206 heavy yeah, so looking to get it uh, done here in, uh, in, in 206 Heavy. I uh, was able to do it earlier uh, today in the 206 Masters class. Uh, so we'll see what it looks like uh, for, Geese, uh, for Geese, sorry, this time by uh, whenever he gets set to qualify. But it's been a great day uh, of racing so far. And while we wait uh, for those drivers to head out into the racetrack, why don't we take this time to, uh, or, uh, just as I say that, actually, uh, they, they work their way out onto the track, so uh, no commercial break this time. Bye. We're going to have to wait from all of our uh, uh, lovely partners at, at SimCraft, Shop AKR, NKA, everywhere else, and, and all the other uh, sponsors that are, help us make this possible. But they're going to have to wait here for a second because it's time to qualify for your 206 heavies. 206 heavy out on the racetrack here. Uh, a five-minute qualifying uh, and some change for these drivers here. It's, uh, it's Matt Geist, then it's gonna be Evan McCorkendale, J.B. Williams, uh, then it's Adam Adam uh, Adam Dietz, uh, Troy Tony in this class as well. Then uh, in the likes of the sixth place spot uh, for warm up, Brandon Lorick, uh, Carl Maher, Taylor Nicholson, Riley Galladay, and uh, Derek Barnes. That's your 10 cart field in 206 Heavy. We'll give these guys a minute to cycle around and set their first bit of laps here in this qualifying session. It's Evan McCorkadale who sets a purple lap here, but these times should tumble uh, almost two seconds quicker than what we're seeing right now. Obviously, this first lap, the warm-up lap doesn't count for all too much, but gives you a good idea of where they all stack uh, on the racetrack there. That's Evan McCorkadale uh, giving a push to uh, Matt uh, Geese there in third place so your first and third place drivers working together pretty well so i suspect this to be the pairing that we see for a majority of the qualifying session don't be surprised if these two drivers qualify one and two here we go crossing the stripe for their first real time lap there it is matt geese and mccorkendale but how about it adam deets 43814 ahead of troy tony there in second uh so those two drivers 66 machine and the number one Going one and two as it stands. So Matt Geist and Evan McCorkendale third and fourth now. Uh, Matt Geist, sorry, Matt Geist and Evan McCorkendale ahead of J.B. Williams now in fifth. Yeah, so not too bad for Geist, who's uh, also out here running double duty. And, and uh, they continue to push uh, each other along. That's the 19 of McCorkendale as well in the Braille Art machine. Uh, so they continue to push each other through, and what does it look like this time by Geist up to P2, McCorgandale up to the top of the timing screens, and goes on to the provisional pole position here. It's uh, Troy Tory currently, uh, or Troy Tony, I'm sorry, uh, currently third here uh, at the moment, and Adam Dietz uh, down in fourth uh, here at the moment. He was up there at the top of the timing screens and fell all the way down. Uh, with all those drivers uh, getting through, guys, uh, Tony and uh, Bukorkendale, all drivers that uh, that knocked uh, Dietz off of that top step. So they continue to cycle through. With two minutes left in this qualifying session, uh, what can these drivers pull out of the bag to try and put themselves on the pole position here shortly? Minute 45 left in this qualifying session. Evan McCorkadale absolutely flying right now. Got around Matt Geist in this session, and he's pulling away now further back. Let's look at Adam Dietz there on board the 66 machine last time by. Put it P2 as it stands, getting a decent toe off of Matt Geist. Speaking of decent toes, Matt Geist now getting a toe off the Burrell driver, Evan McCorkadale. So don't be shocked if Matt Geist uh, puts in a personal best this time around. Two corners to go for these drivers. Minute 15 and some change left. Let's see as they cross the stripe. Any improvements for your top three across the line? Matt Geist improves, but not enough. He stays third. A minute five left in this qualifying session. 
Matt Geist, the only driver to improve on his lap as it stands uh, throughout that lap. It's still McCorkadale, your leader, your pole sitter as it stands. Adam Dietz, Matt Geist, J.B. Williams, uh, and Troy Tony there. That's your top five. They have about two laps to go here in this qualifying session. Yeah, just about two laps to go, depending on when they cross the stripe. Uh, so let's see what it looks like uh, for these drivers when they cycle through. And most of them will get two, uh, well, one more lap. Uh, so this one and one more, and then they will run out of time uh, whenever it comes down to it. But here we go for the final time for uh, the majority of these drivers. Tony finds himself down in four. Uh, in fourth here at the moment uh, hasn't been able to improve uh, his lap time uh, but still very close uh, to all the other drivers ahead very very tight knit field in this uh, 206 heavy class but Horkendale still top of the timing screens and continue to push forward so let's see what the 19 can do here uh, can he solidify himself on that pole position they will be the first drivers across the line checkered flag already out uh, for Derek Bames so what does it look like this time by for the 19 uh, Braille Art Machine here when they cross the stripe. And it looks set to be Evan McCorkendale on the pole position. Matt Geist currently uh, went up to P2 here. And Adam Dietz, uh, P3. So they all get the checkered flag. And it's McCorkendale who gets the pole position here in 206 Senior Heavy. Good run there for Evan McCorkendale. Uh, got the top spot early. Didn't look back ever since. But for Matt Geist able to steal the second place spot there uh, away from uh, I believe Tony had it at one point Adam Dietz there in third uh, and then I JB Williams there in fourth Troy Tony in fifth here in your 206 heavy class top five separated by about five tenths of a second should be uh, on for a pretty decent uh, heat and feature race for this class because just like in the Masters class, they put on a good show. These drivers know how to put on a good show as well. So it's McCorkadale, Geist, Dietz, Tony, Williams, Galladay, Barnes, Nicholson, Lorenk, and Maurer. That's your top 10 here in 206 Senior Heavy. Uh, Caleb, a few more classes to go. Uh, what class are you most excited for here in this afternoon slate? Uh, you know, there's a lot of exciting ones coming up. I'm excited for the 206 Light class. But Alex, I'm actually, I'm actually a little mad at you right now, dude. I'll tell you what, you uh, I'm a little mad at you. You know why? Why's that? Because you're not following Race WRP on Instagram. You need to follow Race White uh, Whiteland Raceway Park on Instagram, dude. There you have it. Whiteland Raceway Park on Facebook, Race WRP on Instagram, Whiteland Raceway Park on YouTube, and join that Discord chat uh, where uh, I, I think hey, Alex, I'm not I'm not lying. I think you were the 430th member. Uh, in that in that chat, but you're not getting a hat if, if it was you. Uh, you have enough uh, for uh, hopefully somebody else. Uh, if anybody else joins, we'll give them a hat, but not Alex Searle. Uh, we don't have any hats small enough to, to fit his tiny little head. But anyways, uh, again, Alex isn't following Race WRP on Instagram. Do no, not be I like Alex, did, you guys. I just did. Okay, well, just don't did. be like Alex was five minutes ago. And follow Race WRP on Instagram, like them on Facebook, and subscribe to them on YouTube. I'm not subscribed uh, on YouTube, so I'll probably go do that. So don't be like me either. You guys, you guys need to be better than us, and uh, go follow Race WRP on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and join that Discord server uh, so you can get all that, uh, all the updates live as uh, everything's uh, coming coming through with results. Uh, qualifying uh, positions and all that uh, fun stuff. But into this K100 Junior qualifying already. Uh, for the first lap, uh, the out lap already down. Uh, we are three and a half, uh, sorry, uh, two minutes in with uh, just under um, just under two minutes in with three and a half minutes to go left in this one. It's currently Landon Boer uh, who holds the fastest lap time here at the moment, the 8.20, uh, currently top of the timing screens, and Mason uh, Gillian as well. Uh, in the number two, he's up there. Uh, it's sorry, in the number 64 machine, he's up in a second. Ryan Morton, 812, currently up third. Dane Van Dyke, currently uh, in fourth here in the 79. So a very tight knit field, uh, very very close. Uh, um, what's expected to be uh, a, a super close qualifying uh, for the pole position here. Yeah, and I'll tell you what. If I am the four, if I was the 430th member, because I thought it's, I thought I was 429. If I was the 430th, then 
if we can get to 450 today, 450, then we'll for sure we'll give away a hat. But it has to happen during the broadcast. Hey, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what. Broadcast. We we get to 450 uh, members in that Discord server. I'll quit. No, I'm playing. I won't do that. But <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the social team will probably have a good time with that. And uh, if they want me out of a job, they'll definitely make that happen. So do not join that Discord. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, but you guys join up, and I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll find some good incentives for you guys uh, so you guys, uh, so you guys join that, that Discord uh, server uh, here today. But enough of that. We have a very interesting qualifying session going on. Landon Boer currently quickest. Uh, by a, a good margin at 37.915 here at the moment. Dane Van Dyke up to P2 here. Uh, so uh, with uh, just um, eight tenths off here at the moment, but looking to close down that gap. Uh, eight tenths off the last lap, but looking to close that down uh, this time by. So let's see what it looks like uh, when they cross the stripe. And uh, and uh, they, they, uh, they continue to cycle through, and there goes Ryan Mort up to P2 here at the moment. Dane Van Dyke falls back to third. Mason Gellian uh, currently fourth, and Charlie Myers cracking into that top five uh, with a good lap last time by in the 886 machine. So a good lap so far, but everybody currently chasing uh, the 820, the driver on your screen there of Landon Boer. Landon Boer absolutely flying, but Ryan Mort is closing the gap. That is Dane Van Dyke there, four tenths back from the pole sitter as it stands. Mason Gallion is fourth. Charlie Myers fifth. A minute to go and some change here in qualifying for your pole sitter. Landon Boer as it stands. Ryan Mort last time around could not improve on his lap time. So Landon Boer uh, lives to fight for another lap here atop the board. A 37.915. That's a very quick lap around this place in the KA Junior Class. So it's going to be tough. For the driver on your screen there of uh, or that's Landon Boer, but for Ryan Mort behind him to uh, eclipse him. So as it stands, Lucian Gla uh, Lucian Laser, sorry, uh, sets a personal best there to go seventh ahead of Evan Patton, Charlie Myers ahead of him, Graham Huffman. That's going to be your top five. Uh, he's in your top five. Mason Gallian, Dane Van Dyke, Ryan Mort, Landon Boer. No one improving their lap time though inside the top five except for Dane Van Dyke and Mason Gallian. So Mason Gallian is now up to third. Dan Van Dyke, even with a personal best, Charlie Myers, personal best, moves Graham Huffman down. Graham Huffman now fights back. He puts in a personal best to go into the top five once again. So about half a second separates first through fifth, but for Landon Boer, he's still your pole sitter as it stands. One last time around here for every sync driver. Here's Landon Boer, the 820 machine. He's going to cross the stripe. Does he have anything? to improve on his own lap time. Not gonna happen. Ryan Moore behind him cannot improve either. So for Landon Boer, he's on pole ahead of Ryan Moore. Mason Gallian, Dane Van Dyke, Graham Huffman, Charlie Myers, Evan Patton got back around Lucian Glazer. And how about it, Graham Huffman now ahead of Charlie Myers. So that's the last bit of shuffling in this qualifying session. But for Landon Boer, that's your pole center. Yeah, so there you have it for Landon Boer, who uh, put it on the pole position uh, here uh, in the KA100 Junior class. Uh, getting set to go out onto the racetrack now. It's going to be your 206 uh, light class, uh, where you have all these drivers uh, getting set to go out onto the racetrack here uh, shortly. Uh, but Alex, I mean, you, uh, you used to race 206 light uh, yourself. I mean, walk me through uh, through what it's like, because I mean, it, I. I, I really feel like uh, like like with you know very much like less weight on the go kart, you go way way faster uh, at the uh, at the 340 mark uh, than than the usual 360. Yeah, I mean, as you never fail to let anybody know, short kings over here, right? I'm, I'm a decent <laughs> yeah. light person as well. So so with that, uh, I I've tried. We've talked about it on grid talk. I've ran the 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 double and triple duty before. I've done heavy, believe it or not. I broke my cart stand doing it, but I did. And so I had a 390 pound go-kart with 110 pounds of lead on it. Not a fun time. So for me, I'm a senior light guy, I'm a senior medium guy. Even senior medium is a little bit too much weight for me, but senior light, uh, a very, very fun class to be part of. And even if it doesn't feel like it, because at the end of the day, the cart is a little bit heavier uh, to the touch with your steering wheel as you add weight to it. Naturally, the cart flexes more at the center. 
and so it becomes heavier to turn, but it doesn't feel that much different than a senior light go-kart versus a senior heavy go-kart, but the cart feels faster, it rolls more naturally, right? You're, you're carrying 50 to 60 pounds less than you would on a heavier go-kart. So for, for these senior light guys, the roll speed's better. At a track like Whiteland, through this bowl corner, it's gonna start getting a little loose on you rather than get stuck like a heavy cart would. So uh, it, it's, it's, it's a joy to drive. Not that the heavy cart isn't a joy to drive, but the senior light guys, uh, I'm sure uh, a lot of these drivers coming from senior medium into senior lights, they're, pro they're, they're noticing that 20 to 30 pound difference uh, and probably having a good time doing it. And for sure, you get about a two mile an hour advantage with this class versus the medium class. And uh, yeah, it's, it's always a good time to drive, uh, it's always a good time when you can drive something a little bit quicker. And obviously the motor's the same, but when you take off 20 pounds, it's still gonna go faster. Yeah, no, correct, and and all this, uh, you know, is is kind of a little preview that that of uh, of what we'll get whenever uh, Cup Carts North America comes to uh, Whiteland Raceway Park later this year for the CKNA North uh, Division. That I'm I'm about 95 to 75 percent sure uh, that, uh, that that will be live streamed and uh, will be. Uh, on uh, our platform here at Car Chaser, just like it was uh, last week uh, for AMP and uh, and CKNA, it, it, like like we had it last week. So hopefully we can uh, uh, bring that all that action to you guys when uh, when uh, over 100 of the best uh, 206 racers in North America and in the North region uh, come to race here at at, uh, at Whiteland Raceway Park. So uh, that's all uh, later, but for now. Uh, it's your 206 Senior Light qualifying here uh, at the Indy Karting Challenge. AJ Lund currently sits top of the timing uh, charts uh, with a 41.928, so a pretty good lap uh, for him. As the, the, the 919 machine of Ryan uh, Gensheimer currently sits in that second spot. Levi Wilbur currently third. Jared Howerton currently fourth. And Elijah Fox running up your top five. And these are all, you know, uh, familiar names that to, to what we saw uh, earlier today in the 206 medium class, but you can already see the the difference in speed in between these uh, these uh, these light carts. How quick they're going through these corners, and 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 how how fast uh, it looks. So there on your screen, that's the 919 of Ryan Gensheimer. Um, there on your screen, and, and just how quickly uh, they go through these corners. And and interesting for uh, for the for the 919 uh, of of Ryan, who just decided to go onto the racetrack on his own, no tow. No draft, no games, no nothing. Just himself, open track, and uh, and his uh, his right foot on the uh, on the gas pedal. So, yeah, and for sure, Ryan, uh, a heavy right foot because it's working out for him. P two without a toe or without anybody to help him out, he feels as though his MGM chassis is good enough to roll by itself. AJ Lund there, uh, double duty, but a different form of double duty, right? Because we saw AJ Lund run K A senior. He said, you know what, I want right. to dip my toes in the four-stroke racing. And it's working out for him there. Uh, your pole sitter in KA Senior. So far, your pole sitter in the Senior Light category. 800th back to Brian Gensheimer. Then it's Eli Fox, Levi Wilbur, Jared Howerton, your winner in Senior Medium down in fifth. Braden Mayfield, Gavin Baird, Braden Johnson, Kyle Landon, Dominic Stancombe. That is your top ten. Only a couple of tenths separate uh, first through 10th year naturally it's what you expect here in this 206 class it's why we love 206 racing so much and why we love that we can be here for the grassroots uh racing there and how about it for kyle landon what an absolute flyer that was a 41 454 almost five tenths clear of the field between himself and aj lund so kyle landon looking like kyle larson out there with how quick that lap was so impressive stuff for him aj lund second ryan jensheimer elijah fox Levi Wilbur. That's your top five. Checkered flag in the air for these drivers. So this lap will count, though. Ryan Jeshammer crosses the stripe. Any improvements? Not going to happen. So Kyle Landon still looking good so far. But Ryan Jeshammer in third. Any improvements further back here? A bunch of drivers still yet to cross the line. No improvements. Jared Howerton improves a little bit. Levi Wilbur, a personal best, stays in fifth. Uh, Riley Balden down in 14th the personal best lap but other than that nobody else improves their lap so kyle landon p1 the o2 machine a 41 454 with an absolute flyer ahead of aj lund ryan jensheimer elijah fox 
Levi, Wilbur, that's your top five. Jared Howerton, Gavin Baird, Braden Mayfield, Keegan Day, Kyler Peebles. That is your top ten at Senior Light. Uh, we're in for a treat here, but if Kyle Landon can continue that pace, uh, it might be a runaway, but I don't think it will be because that never happens in the 206 senior class, and I'm sure with a bit of a help from the toe is uh, what we saw from that lap time. But nonetheless, when you put five tenths in the field, it's a good qualifying session. Yeah, good qualifying session indeed. Well, that was it uh, for our free coverage uh, here uh, for the Indy Karting Challenge uh, on this beautiful Saturday uh, morning and afternoon. Uh, we are, for those of you guys uh, who will be leaving us, uh, we'll be sad to, uh, to let you guys go, but uh, we're going to switch over to our members-only stream. Uh, so for $9.99 a month, you become a KC Premium member to watch all the racing action live. Uh, here uh, from wherever and, and every single series that that, that, that we go to uh, to watch the racing action uh, live for nine for nine ninety nine a month, uh, or you can wait until the Wednesday after to watch uh, the full uh, replays of uh, of our live streams and and get to listen to my my voice and Alex Earl's voice uh, for a lot longer. Uh, but uh, we're going to switch over to that uh, members-only stream here shortly. For those of you guys who will be leaving us, it's been a pleasure uh, seeing you guys, and, and hopefully uh, you guys can, can join us here in a couple of minutes' time. But from myself, uh, Kayla Vieska, and Alexander Searle, uh, thank you guys. And that was it for our qualifying and warm-up sessions. When we return uh, on our Behind the Paywall, it's going to be all about racing action. A heat race coming underway, and the main event all set to go green here shortly. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>